Yeah, so yeah. our uh, main focus really is the support groups. Okay. And so we were hosting those in person mm -hmm. prior to COVID. And with COVID, we have increased that number greatly. We offer support groups uh, three days a week, Tuesday, Wednesday, and Thursday at different times of the day um, for anyone to join us. Doesn't matter where they are. We are even supporting people from across Canada or even from the States. They'll join our support group. And it's peer, it's peer on peer. And so lots of people, um, you're getting together with this like-minded group that is experiencing the same thing. And lots of people say, I get so much out of this, mm -hmm. you know, talking to other Definitely. people going through this. And so then we have increased during COVID our education that's available online, our training. We do TIPA Snow Series. Um, we do uh, base, uh, Dementia Basics uh, six-week series mm -hmm. with doctors and healthcare professionals explaining what dementia is. And so uh, it gives them, the caregiver, a great foundation, mm -hmm. uh, you know, of what they are experiencing. Good. And then once they come on and join us for an education event, then we, we don't just stop it there. We try and encourage them and say, okay, now that we've met you, let's get you involved in a support group. Let's get you coming to some of our social programs, whether it's our music that we offer online, the, the art or the painting that we offer online. Um, it gives them a little bit of a respite, you know, while they're doing this activity together. We've, we've now developed a new program called uh, Tab Mac, which is take a break, make a connection. Mm -hmm. And so we're doing it virtually right now, but it's similar to the friendly visiting where we have someone reaching out to that family and having a chat with their the person they're taking care of to kind of occupy them and give them a change of focus so mm -hmm. that caregiver can have that little bit of a break yes um, you know that they need and that's a program we're rolling out and so um, it's really vital it's it's a great it's a great program with the <coughs> oh sorry go ahead <laughs> Kate. I was just going to jump in again to underscore what Audrey's saying. I think the key word that she used is respite. And it's not a word that I knew until I got into this world as a caregiver. Uh, respite really is just having a break. You know, when you are caring for anybody, but when you're caring for somebody with dementia, it can be really unrelenting. And particularly, as you said, um, John, that, you know, sometimes the repetition, they might ask the same question over and over. And it's probably a really harmless question, but if you're the only person there and you keep getting that question over yeah. and over, that's really hard to take. And so respite means taking a break. And, and so a lot of what we do is the education, the support of the caregiver, but also creating those opportunities for people to take a break as the caregiver and also to make that connection socially, you know, as a person with dementia you want to feel that you're also still involved. We all do, it's human nature. We want to make those connections. So all of those programs that we have where you can learn to make cards, where you can sing, where you can listen to music, where you can dance to music, all of those things are about making those connections and taking the pressure off the caregiver at the same time.